Joker 2. A sequel no one... A sequel I didn't really care for. A sequel for a movie that's not... A sequel that's not really a sequel. It's like a, a an appendix to Joker 1 and a bad one at that. Like an appendix that like not worth anything? No value? Mm-hmm. Uh, we, no. I think... Get, no. I... I needed this, and I, and I'm glad I got it. Wow! All right, so we got a, we got varying, different opinions here. It's obvious. Uh, it's, it's obvious you we see got, it. We got um, <laughs> we got the we got the return of Joaquin Phoenix Joaquin. as uh, as Arthur Fleck Joker. Mm. We get Lady Gaga mm -hmm. as Harley Quinzel, Harley hey. Quinzel, or Harley Quinn, or Lee. Uh, and this this takes place right after the events of the first movie, after he gets arrested and yeah, he's in jail. And he and and he's in jail and he's getting therapy and he's getting or he's in that psych where he's in Arkham, right? Mm -hmm. They have him in Arkham. Uh, I thought this movie had no point. This movie really watered down the fact that Arthur Fleck in the first movie became joker right it took all of that away because in the first movie it took a, it took him steps to become and snap to become the joker and do all that stuff and find that confidence or find you know the the, the craziness in him to do all those things and then in this movie he's back to normal he's back to being like the weak guy the you know a well, guy that he's under medication. Even then, even after, even when he stops the medication, he still no. goes back to being the weak guy. There's only two minutes of this movie that I thought were good, that I enjoyed. What part only do you think minutes. it was? In the court scene where he, where, 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 um, where he's, where he's already thinking he is, like where he's the Joker, and he has a song that he's singing. I forgot what is. I forgot the name of the song. I, I I didn't care for the song. Um, but where he's where he hits Harvey Dent with chair, where he beats the, the where he the beats judge, the, where he beats a judge with the mallet. That mm -hmm. felt like Joker. The rest of the movie didn't feel like Joker. He was simping over Harley. He was That's like, Harley. he he was like, oh my god, like Harley's everything. When everything in the comic book or in like a <sighs> traditional Joker, he is. There's a lot of smoke in this movie. There's a lot of smoking, but he's the he's the hater, right? He uh, not the hater, but he's the he's he's the, he's the, the toxic one in the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real gasser, huh, Mister J? I give the punchlines around here. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> and in this one, Harley is the toxic one in the relationship, or technically not even the relationship. She just wants to be. She's, just, she's an enabler. In the, in she's, the, a, she's a okay. The way I see it, she's a star fucker in this movie. That's what it is. She's groupie. She's like, yeah, she is a groupie. She's trying. She's just like, oh, I, I, you know, I love the Joker. She sees him as one thing, I'm not, the, the not the real. It's like it's like those it's like those people that see the character instead of the actor. And they're like, oh, I love the character. They want to be, they they want to be with that person because of the character, um, but not in a good way. Like it, it, it wasn't like I couldn't get behind anything in this movie. Harvey Dent was annoying, and when he was pursing his lips, when he was talking so much, he was always pursing his lips. Uh, Joker was very, very weak. Uh, it he he starts building up to get the courage to become the Joker again, then. He, he gets. It seems like he gets plowed by the uh, security guards in prison, and then all of a sudden, like, I don't want. I don't want to be the Joker no more. I'm done. I quit. And I think what broke him in that moment. I think. I think you're talking about that moment where um, he kind of says, "Yeah, I killed six people. People don't know. I killed my mother." Down the end. Um, I think in that moment, it's more like, "Hey, they just killed this dude who supported the crap out of me." Who cheered me on every time? Who believed in me in this jail? They killed him for being a supporter. He's a maniac with a heart. 
Yeah, so was, yeah, and that's and that's not what the Joker is. That's not it was it was so it, the it, Joker that's, doesn't well, care. It took me it took me this movie didn't need to be made. I thought this, I think this movie was dumb. Mm. Overall, I think the movie was dumb. And and I enjoyed the movie from beginning to end. Every part of it. Every part of it. It it cuz because it it was through everything that was happening was through his eyes and through his mind. All the music <laughs> everything and you still have that same character that the first one you really feel for him even though he's killing people but you feel for him and you have that i mean it doesn't need the end it doesn't really but but in this one you it continues you still feel for him you still feel his pain everything that he's going through and the music just just adds to it it's just what's happening in his head to me it, it was it was a good movie. It was a really well, good movie to me. He was is in the I, movie, I, I, in both movies. He was always a pathetic twat. Okay, mm-hmm. and um, that's fine. That's, that's for exactly. a character to build upon. But once you've built upon it, it's uh you you can't be going back. Joker doesn't care for anybody. Joker doesn't care for Joker's character. Well, the Joker that they're trying to use uh, doesn't care about anybody. That even Harley, even the, even a person who like who the, the, the wants to be like their right hand man, which is why I think it has that ending. Well, and this is this is why we said like in the when we first saw the original Joker, all of us said, "I think he's not the Joker. I think he's doing something." Like I think they they took everyone's ideas. Like I mean, let's make him not be the actual Joker. Let's like let's make him inspire the Joker or something. Mm-hmm. But. When I was talking to you, Ozzy, about the movie, you brought up a better, a better way that a better twist, a better story for this movie for the end for the ending of it. That felt good. (sighs) Victory. That felt good hearing it. It felt better. (laughs) It felt better. It felt better. Like it, it was a better. It made better sense because in the in in watching this movie, it could have it they could have just made it all. Explain it. Explain kind of what you were talking about. So here's here's uh so here's what I was I was saying you could do to at least fix it. Go back to it, edit it, uh, do a quick little reshoot. You just reshoot Arthur for like just staring into like uh in like laying down staring like in a session, and the whole movie is just him in a session, but his mind is just having these thoughts. So in the throughout the uh throughout the session, you ha- you but you put in. Uh, like these scenes that, that he had in this uh, in the movie, so scenes of the movie, so it's all just so you know uh, right off the bat, it's in his mind, in his mind, and he's just playing out everything in his mind, and then at the very end he wakes up. I mean, he's he's just he finally reply uh, like talks to his, ther- his therapist, and it turns out he's talking to Harley, the way the Harley story was was uh was created. Even though Harley's not really an original character, she's just character created for for the animated series because mm-hmm. you know money. But yeah, it's uh, it would actually work out a lot easier, and it's a cop out. It's, it's an easy way to kind of make a, a no no nonsense movie like this one that has no reason what's whatsoever, and still you know keep the Arthur Fleck character as a mystery. Just like in the in, in the first uh, in the first one they did, they kept him as a mystery. Where like at the very end of the movie, where he he killed the therapist, or he's you know walk stepping through blood and everything. But he did. Like you're like that's the thing. You, do you really know? You you do because she's in the uh, she's in the courtroom. Yeah, but in that but but if you didn't make this movie, you would have thought, dude, he went nuts in that because yeah. the therapist right there. I think he killed he killed someone right there. And then this whole thing's going on in the back and, and at the ending of that movie. They basically just, you know, said, eh, we don't like the ending. Let's wipe my ass with it and make this movie and still make him, you know, miss, uh, bring him back to normal. This and, now, and you, you still, you can still see that everything is in his mind. Everything that's happening in that movie is in you, his no, mind. You're, you're right. But it's, mm-hmm. but it's all in his mind while he's awake, while he's doing that stuff and he's still going through life. He's just is, these are all daydreams that he's ha- that he's having while living through life and being, uh, you know, some some little you know quiet church mouse. 
that's what he the, that's that's what he, that's all he is in that the movie and then eventually he breaks at the end again and uh and when he sees that his life is he's like he finally when he when they blow up the the um uh, the courtroom and he, they made to drag him out he runs to her drag it in drag him out he walks out well i know but they basically just put him in the car and say, uh, yeah, well, they, help, they, they help him they help him out they're helping him out yeah and then he runs away you know at least he runs better than than Seagal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I I think uh I think this this movie is it, my my problem is I think it's a great movie to me. My problem is that we didn't need yeah. a sequel to the to the Joker. We, we didn't, didn't need, need it. No. Joker. No, we didn't need a sequel to the Joker. And you could tell that the director Todd Phillips didn't want to make a sequel. So I feel that this is this is a uh, to me it feels like a slap in the face to the Joker character. Or e- even then, this is not even the Joker. Uh, still, exactly. I'll still st- I'll still stick to my guns from the original. This is not the Joker. This is not the Joker at all. This is not the Joker that we would no- typically see. This is like to me the whole simping and p- pumping Harley two times and busting nuts, you know, real quick, right? And and then and then kiss so much kissing. It's too close to home. Harley. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, kissing Harley like kissing Harley so much like uh, the Joker just is, is like he just treats her. He's supposed to treat her like crap and. He's supposed to be like manipulating her. That's kind of like in the comic book. And I know that that's not what people want to see nowadays because everyone's so sensitive or whatever. I don't care. But don't like if you're going to write the story, keep the story the same. Keep keep it in that same vein. But like they write you write. The, they write this story like the director makes this movie, a movie that he's like, I know what I'm going to do at the end so that I won't have to make another sequel. Mm-hmm. Right. So they won't ask you for and another keep one. It, and keep it in the same universe. Keep it in the same universe, yeah. And but see, then again, like if like at the end, they allude to a different version of the Joker. Yeah, right. If you're watching in the background, it, so may, it, this- might, it might even be uh, the um, what's his name, uh, Dark Knight. The Dark Knight, exactly. Is Heath Ledger? Could, uh, yeah, could, Heath Ledger. Could, could this movie be tied to that? Because universe? in Heath no. in Heath Ledger's Joker, he kept making up stories of how he mm-hmm. became the Joker. Mm-hmm. So you, I, I that, that's that's the Joker movie I'd make. Yeah, but at this point, I don't want to see another Joker movie. Not, no, not I don't no. need to see a movie like that. I, I like, think because that it does it doesn't need to be a movie. If you if you really want to tell an origin story style movie for Joker, it doesn't have to be a full on movie. It can literally just be a short. the The thing is, the origin of the Joker should always be tied to the origin of the Batman. That's what I feel. That's how I feel it should be. This has already been done. This is fine. I'm cool with it. I don't need it anymore. We're done, right? Not I did not like I did not like this I did not like the sequel. I thought the music um while f- was was fine. I I I I think they tried something. It didn't work for me. It did not work for me. And character-wise, I c- did not like any of the characters. I did, I couldn't even Arthur, I couldn't feel sorry for him. What oh, you didn't like that? Like the police man. No, didn't police care anybody. Who talked to the prison, man? Especially the prison, no, the prison guards. No, <laughs> not even that. Like, and it, and I can tell this movie isn't doing well because I went to the when I went to see the first Joker, the first Joker theater was packed. I went to see this one yesterday, maybe five, ten people tops. And well, I because, and I think because, it's. Go ahead. Yeah, because people are talking about it and saying that it's not good, but people are not giving it a chance. And so I, I, I think a, a lot of people are just like, I gave it a chance I and I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it. I thought yeah. it was, a. Uh, I, I thought they could have edited a lot of, I, I think they could have edited it down. It could have been cut smoother. It could have been edited down uh, by two hours and 15 minutes. You're wrong, mister. They could have, they could have given me just a cartoon beginning. That's all. That, that, yeah. that, I think that was okay. I think the whole movie. I was, like the cartoon. The cartoon is stupid. It was on point like, not every stupid. second. I was not bored. It Agree flew to disagree. by. Uh, the movie was well made. The story was good. Well, I still have. I still felt so much compassion for him. In the beginning of the movie, he's talking about how he just wanted to die. 
And that's and the at problem. the end, he he gives up too, and he still wants. That's all he wants. He just he doesn't want to be around. No, well, at the, the end, yes, but but once he finds, but he said it at the beginning the, too. Yeah, once he, he finds the fake love that he has with Harley, yeah. the, the fake love Harley gives him is like Which I have even worse to, because now I have something to believe in. Yeah, now one now girl, like, one girl lets me bust my nuts, and then all of a sudden I'm in love. The only girl, by the way. The only yeah, girl yeah. because he and didn't this is, even know what he was doing because he and, was and like, you remember, Can you do it. Yeah, and you remember the first you remember the first the first uh the first Joker? Everyone was like, Oh my god, this movie's like a love letter to incels and blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Now they gave the incel a girlfriend and he finally smashes, but he falls all in love with her, which is what normally happens. Yeah. What typically happens to incels that finally get a girlfriend where they end up marrying them, they end up all of this and they end up all this other stuff, but I gave it a shot. I didn't like it. Edgar gave it a shot. He loved it. Awesome. That's great. See, this is this is I why people go to the movies. I care less for it. It's so much deeper. The movie it, it, is so much deeper than I. I understand. I understood. What he was, I I understood what he was doing. What I kind of felt like I understood what, what the director was doing, but at the same time, I was like, then you're not making a Joker movie. You're not. You're you're just making a, like. There, hey, there hey, is guess no, what? The Joker was an inspiration. Yeah, no, see, but there is the whole society because we live in a society. Yeah. But in yeah, this I movie, you, there is no joke. Too, yeah, I think you guys are too into the comic book uh, lore that N- not you, even you're that. not watching it for just what it is. Well, you no, call it well, Joker, but then it's a movie that has no joke, technically no Joker in it. it there, there is a Joker in it. He's not the Joker. No, he's, not he's the Joker. Joker in the summer. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. He's they call him Maurice. Uh, no, but yeah, it's, it's, I, 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 I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. I thought because I liked the first one, I enjoyed it. I was like, oh, okay, cool. They're going to do something different. Uh, I just, I didn't, didn't like what they did. I felt like this was a big step down and it kind of made all the stuff in the first one not matter as much anymore, just because they, 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 they wiped the ending out like they got rid of the fact that he snapped and became the joker and he became crazy he started doing that stuff he riled up people and there were you got little glimpse of it in 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 this movie little small glimpses but overall like he wasn't the same character from the first movie or towards uh, so the end of the first movie. you're right but and uh, and you're right as well where when you say hey we're probably too tied up into the lore don't fucking call it joker you could have called it Arthur in the first one. No, then, then, then that's a movie about drinking an alcoholic. <laughs> we already have that. Yeah. Or with, with Russell Brand? Yeah. <laughs> no, Dudley Moore. You leave Russell, Russell Brand out of it. Russell Brand Dudley playing Dudley Moore. Moore. Russell yeah. Brand playing Dudley Moore. <laughs> no, I think this movie is a work of art. Okay, cool. That's one person. Probably now, it now it's on you. Now it's on you guys. Did you guys, did you guys watch Joker? What did you guys think? Did you guys like it? Uh, obviously, you heard our opinions. What do you guys think? Don't forget to like and subscribe. On that note, this has been Vinny. This is Adi, and and we'll see you guys next time. Art.